Hello friends and welcome to this week's Friday Fire. Over the last 15 years that Pam and I have been traveling around the world preaching the gospel, we have had to let a lot of things go around the house here. And uh, we have this beautiful deck on the back of our house. It's a 14 by 50. It is a monster of a deck. And uh, it, it has been my place where I come and pray. Uh, sometimes in the middle of the night I'll wake up and come out and walk back and forth on this deck just in the solitude of the night talking to the Father and having communion with Him. And as I've been rolling this new seal uh, on top of this deck to preserve it and try to get a few more years out of the surface before I have to replace the boards on it, I've been keenly aware of our need as believers to maintenance our faith and our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. All this week as I've been working on this deck, I've been thinking about the times that I noticed in Scripture that in the middle of a great move of God, in, in the middle of a great outpouring and great healings taking place, Jesus would pull aside and spend time, go up into a high mountain and spend time talking to the Father. It, it's, it's If He needed to maintenance His faith, how much more should you and I maintenance our faith as well. I've been I've also been thinking about the video that's circulating around on Facebook that shows these uh, ladies uh, or this group of people that went to a, a sheep farm and the shepherd taught them a specific call to call the sheep and he he sent them to the fence and they called and they called and the sheep just continued to graze, continued to graze. Two or three of them went and then finally the shepherd went and issued the same call that he had taught those others to call for the sheep. And immediately when he opened his mouth and began the call, the sheep raised their head and looked toward the shepherd and they came running. He called the second time and the, the whole field of sheep came running up to the fence to the shepherd. Jesus said it. He said, my sheep know my voice and a stranger they will not follow. It would be good if you want to see revival touch your heart, touch your home, touch your life. It would be good to take some extra time to spend in prayer Take some extra time in the Word. Take some extra time also in fasting. Not that you're trying to buy a blessing by fasting and reading and praying a lot, but it's the disciplining of our flesh to bring our flesh man under control so that our spirit can hear from God because Jesus said, My sheep know my voice, and a stranger they will not follow. One of the major keys to revival and a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit in your life, in your home, and in your church is to go back and maintenance your faith with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It's amazing what can happen even when you're doing a little work around the house. Join us this Sunday at 10 a.m. at Calvary Worship Center in uh, Valley, Alabama with Pastor Chris Yarber. And uh, we're at 10 a.m. looking forward to a wonderful time. One service only at 10 a.m. this Sunday. And on next Sunday, November the 1st, we'll be at Fellowship Assembly of God with Pastor Tim Cole for one service only at 10.30 a.m. Also, that's next Sunday. Will not be a Friday Fire video next week. We are going to be on our annual uh, ministry cruise. We've got couples from all over the region that are going together for a few days of rest and relaxation and also some ministry time on the 2015 Revival Now Ministry Cruise. You can also find out when we'll take our next one or any of our schedule on where we're going to be in the coming weeks and months by visiting our website revivalnow.org. Don't forget, we love you friends. And I'm praying for the fire of the Holy Spirit of God to fall in your life this weekend.